Hi, everyone. Good morning. Great to be in New York again. Uh, used to live here, but I don't anymore. Um, I'm going to talk about everyone's favorite topic, uh, batch, scheduling, workflow management, you know, the stuff that the automation that runs applications in production. As you can see from the title, I think that there are a variety of different ways people describe this kind of automation nowadays. Uh, certainly, for those who've been around for a while, batch or scheduling is a very common term, but in more modern context, orchestrating microservices and running containers on the cloud and modern infrastructure. But I think the key here that I want to talk about is that in a modern application delivery environment, we believe that this kind of automation is a logical part of the application and should be treated as such, and hence the idea of jobs as code. Now, Forrester, in a survey just a few weeks ago, discovered that although Batch may be shifting in terms of how it's being used, it is still massively important, and practitioners, as you can see by the numbers, in massive majority agree that it is a key element of an application, and this approach to be able to manage it in the same way that you manage any other part of your application, using an as-code kind of approach, analogous to maybe infrastructure as code, is an important thing to do. Now, from our perspective, of course, we believe that you have to take a platform approach to batch, and there's a number of characteristics that are absolutely critical of how you want to be able to solve or address this kind of automation challenge in your organization. So if we look at what automation requirements are in the enterprise, first of all, you know, we were just having a conversation actually in the back before I came on stage. Technology and IT are kind of an architectural kind of undertaking. Nothing ever goes away. So no matter how modern your enterprise might be, uh, except for perhaps a few exceptions, everybody has massive, what I would call hyper-heterogeneity. So not only do you have containers and cloud and Mesos and, and you know, uh, Hadoop clusters, but you also have mainframes and AS400s and CRM systems, and you really need to be able to manage all of them uh, in this kind of fashion, but you don't want to have to spend a tremendous amount of time and effort on each individual component. You really want to kind of elevate and abstract all that complexity and be able to consistently build and manage these application uh, components in an automated fashion across the entire enterprise. You want something that's enterprise grade. That means it's got to be reliable and scalable and security's got to be built in. You've got to have auditing and uh, just a variety of other components that nowadays everybody expects from an enterprise solution. You also have to address the diversity of users that exist in an enterprise. So it's not enough to have a tool or a solution that is going to be well suited for highly technical audiences. Once you get out into the enterprise, you have business users, you may have transient students and inter, you know, sort of interns that neither want nor can have the luxury of learning complex solutions. Of course, you have to support the most modern environment. Excuse me, environment. So there's no option nowadays. You must have support for cloud, and that's cloud in every kind of flavor that you can encounter. Public cloud across the various cloud providers, pub, uh, private cloud maybe that's built internally, uh, as well as support for new architecture like microservices, containers, and position yourself not just to support the technologies today, but have this extensible platform that will allow you to grow. And as new technologies come on stream and become popular, you can absorb and integrate them into your environment. And finally, again, in a modern application delivery context, whether you refer to this as CICD or DevOps, you have got to be able to embed all of this automation into the SDLC, which means keeping it in your SCM together with all your other application components, being able to automatically build, test, and move through the entire SDLC in an automated fashion. So this is the concept that we talk about that is jobs as code, again, applying in an as code or a software defined, which may be funny to say for software, but you know, an as code kind of a paradigm for how you build and manage these workflows. 
We are in booth 406, and we'd love to talk to you about Control-M and Jobs as Code, so come by and see us, get a great t-shirt. Thank you very much. <laughs>